Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nika. I'm here this week with a full makeup glam, very vampy, very smoky. Not too smoky, but you know. Ooh, I did a cranberry, dark plum, purple type of smoky eye, as you can see, um, with a new gloss. I just feel like I wanted to film this tutorial for you guys. I got so much new makeup and I just hope that you guys enjoy it. If you want to see this makeup look, stay tuned. Okay, jumping right into it with the brows. They need to be done so bad, so this took a little bit longer than what I expected. So I'm taking my ColourPop brow pencil in black and brown, and I'm just filling in my brows on each side. Oh my gosh, it looks so bad. I can't, I can't take it, but I'm waiting to get them done for a special event, so they will be done soon. And now I'm going underneath with my MAC um, Studio Fix Concealer and on top as well just to shape my brows out where I went outside the lines or where I have a lot of hair that I just don't want to be showing. And if you want a more detailed look, I have a video on my updated brow routine so you can go check that out. I'll leave that in the description box below. I'm also bringing that concealer all the way down to my lids to hide any pigmentation and stuff like that. Um, then I'll go back on top of it with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Um, this way, this it's not too white on my skin, but it's a new base for me to apply the shadows and I blend it in with my beauty blender. I'm also applying tape on each side just so I can have a sharp edge when I'm finished doing my eyeshadow. Just a trick for you guys. And also setting that with some Laura Mercier setting powder just so it can be easier to apply the shadows to the lids. And first I'm going in with my Morphe 350 palette and I'm just taking a light transition shade so it can be easier when we get into the darker shades to blend out and I'm going in with both sides. And I'm also taking another brown shade that has a little bit more of a red undertone in it and I just thought that, that this would be easier to blend in with the cranberry shade which I'm applying all over my lid. And then I'll probably go back in with my blending brush and take the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm taking that red shade. I'm not sure what the shade is off the top of my head, but I'll be sure to link it down below. And I'm also taking a deep brown to further smoke out the corners of my eyes, make it very smoky. And then go back in with that red to blend everything together. I'm taking my Cover FX primer and then taking my, I think it's L'Oreal True Match foundation and I'm blending that all in to my face. And I don't know, for some reason my forehead looks super orange, but like darker, but the fall is coming and I'm about to be back to my normal shade so everything will look as planned. And I'm also going with some Better Than Skin Concealer from Maybelline. I love this concealer, it's super full coverage and moisturizing so it's not too drying underneath the eyes. And I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. a little bit. I think I'm losing a drink while I'm doing this tutorial. Then I'm going in with the Sasha Buttercup. I don't, it's not translucent, but it's the powder, setting powder, and setting it underneath my eyes and where I apply, apply the concealer. Then I'm going on my Max Studio Fix powder, I believe that is, and just setting on the rest of my face. Then I'm going in by Ebony Bronzer from CoverGirl. Ugh. So great for dark skins. If you don't have a bronzer, you think you can't find one, like this is perfect for all deeper girls. Like I promise, I love it. And then I'm gonna go in with the makeup Sha makeup Shayla contour palette. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of her that she did this. Like I love her. Like if I could pick a makeup artist, be like it would be her. Like I love makeup Shayla. And I'm just contouring the hollows of my cheek and around my forehead. 
And then I'm going in after I start dancing with some blush and it's the MAC Sweetest Cocoa Powder. No, Sweetest Cocoa Blush. I love this blush. I'm hit pan already, so I'm so sad. Then I'm going in with the Topaz Highlighter. Mm, highlight on fleek. Love this highlighter. It's super gold. Like, I think it's going to be perfect for the fall. Then I'm drawing on some eyeliner with the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm back. <laughs> I apply some lashes off camera. I also made my eyes a little bit more smokier. They weren't as smoky when I did it the first time, so I had to go in and fix that. Then I added a little bit more highlighter because I didn't apply enough. And then I'm also adding Urban Decay eyeshadow baked. And then I'm finishing this look with some liner and the Laura Mercier lip gloss. Now let's go to some slow mos. <laughs> 